different for you forever. Because now you think of it as a professional end user. You're processing a room instead of just existing in it, right? Mm -hmm. So the first thing we do is become, we get a handgun, we become self-aware. We're aware of our surroundings. Our amoeba starts doing this. The next thing is we start understanding structures, geometry, clearance, everything, the way we look at a room and look at people in a room changes, right? Offsetting. And then entering and exiting a room is usually not really something that's processed until you're told you don't know what you don't know. So if we're talking about the most simple thing, right? We're just going to walk into the room. We've done it our whole lives. We don't have to train for that. Well, now we have to switch gears. Instead of just existing in and out of a room, we are a, this body from here down is a delivery system. That's it. Its only purpose is to deliver this eye, these eyes and this mind to make a decision. Our job is to be sent into a, an environment where it's our job to process, ID, decide, and freaking act on it. That's it. So this body is only here to deliver this beautiful little head floating in, right? That's it. So now we're going to change our process. Our process isn't just walk in because what do we have on us? We have gear, potentially. We have a belt, which is different geometry, guys. It's wider. So let's go ahead and practice the most basic thing, and that's just walking in effectively, just focusing on our feet. What do I have on me? Nothing. Nothing. I want this to matter because if I see your eyes, you're not getting that return on investment yet. So let's make sure you paid money to look down for a minute, okay? So focus here. If I'm going to be crossing over through this, what, what do I have to do right now? What has to happen, guys? Switch feet. Okay, why? Because for you to make that step. I would have to add another step if I didn't, right? So we're professional end users. We're going to start thinking like it. Okay, so we're right here. I'm set up. Obviously, guys, I'm not going to talk about the upper body. We, we should be already doing that. So right here, step one, why is this important? This, why is that foot, that, that space, but a foot and a half out, why does that matter? Geometry, right? So if I've stepped here, let's just see if I'm a liar. If I stand straight up, I won't hit the threshold. Can my kit clear if I just walk right by? So let's think of it in halves. Where's my gate landing on that? Right Have I hit the threshold? Yep. Have I touched it? Have I made content? No. Okay, so that side is sound. Now we go, okay, we've vetted what he said and it makes sense. Does everybody understand? Okay, so now, delivery point here, why does it matter to land towards the center? Because now if I'm oriented here, let me stand up. Have I touched anything? Nope. No, but if I stand straight up on this mark, do I have clearance for my kit? My kit's a little bit wider because I have, on my left and right side, I have bangs, I have a taser, I have some other shit. So I have to give myself extra depth. And I'm fat, so it's a big bonus there. So now we're going to talk about that second step. This is just prep. This isn't a step. Step one is what? Right there. Okay, we're center of the threshold. We're trying to deliver our body as central on this as possible. We don't want to hug this because what have we done? Uh-oh, if I stand up, hit the kid. I'm just freaking thrusting. It's not going to help us. If I try to pregame this, what's going to catch back here? Everyone of y'all have your iPads in the exact same spot because you've seen it, right? Okay, so we're going to have to process that. Here and now, what's a direct clone on the other side? The same spot. We're going to have it landing forward. We're going to be landing our foot forward. I have a long gait, guys. So I don't, your body may change, but we're, we're just working on a process. If it's going to be a foot and a half rule of thumb to be able to not touch a wall, we're going to do the same thing over here, right? So step two, boom, boom. Now, what do you see about my foot right now? Where's it aiming? Wall. Everybody, real quick, consolidate real fast. Just come this way. Can, can, can you do that into this room? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you ready? Foot. Step one. Step two, where's my foot? Okay, why, does, why do you think that matters? Remember that thing we talked about with that other group? Everybody, real quick, face me with your feet like this, facing straight forward. Okay, Hunter's going to recognize this. Put your hands out. Turn to your left. Turn to your right. You guys see where you stop? Now, take your left foot, turn it in a little bit. You're going to feel more resistance on that side, right? So now, that is our way, because we're already having a process, oh my God, there's probably someone in this room that wants to take my life. That's kind of going to be floating in your head when you get in, so you may give up some of the fundamentals. So we're always going to diminish down to that, that uh, least point of training. So let's make sure we just go ahead and pre-game that for us. If I'm stepping in, my foot is going to tell your body, whoa, hey, just go straight. Because what is our, our path of least resistance going to do if it's open? <laughs> Now I'm stepping in the way of my two and three man and four man, depending on the element. What have I over penetrated? Now those depth of angles, the ability to get an L shape with someone has now been diminished because of me, not because of them. I have exposed myself to liability just with my foot. So 
Let's look at it again. Where's step one going, boys? Middle. Why does it matter? Nothing <laughs> touches. Right? And I'm delivering myself center on the threshold. Boom. Boom. Why does that matter? Because I'm going straight. So here's what it's going to look like fluid. My head is looking down because we're just rehearsing this. Has anything crazy happened? Did I do anything wild? Nothing extreme. No, like, you know, it's just. Now watch again. I'm going to extend my foot. I'm out. I'm not trying to do it. My body just want to go where there's least resistance, guys. Does that make sense? Yep. So we're all going to do that for a minute. First thing we're going to do, get staged, land, land, go. You'll notice I'm not going like this. It is three steps. One, two, I'm in, and I'm already collapsing. This doesn't exist to me once I see wall. Good? 